This is Byron Gordon for the SES Conference Channel. We're at Connected Marketing Week, SES San Francisco 2011, and we're gonna be speaking to Jeff Harmon of Aurabrush, who just finished speaking on the Social Media Solutions on a Budget panel. Thanks so much for joining us, Jeff. Great to be with you, Brian. Jeff, you got something really cool here, so I thought we'd uh, show it to our uh, audience. It's, it's an app of sorts. What exactly does it do? It's a bad breath detector. It, um, so it's a bad breath detector. It, it tests your breath. So, Shall we test mine? Yeah, it's the world's first iPhone app that tests your breath. But yeah, let's go. Okay, ahead. we're, we're going to give it a shot. Has anyone ever told you your breath smells wonderful? They never will. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> one more, one more. iPhone gag reflex application still in development. <laughs> All right, so wow, this is pretty cool. So you developed this app, this bad breath detector. Um, you've made it available on the Aurabrush YouTube channel. You've also made it available um, as a app uh, on the um, iTunes. What's going on here? What are you trying to do? What's to tell us about this? So kind of the idea with this is that you, um, so we, we moved into YouTube because that's where everybody's at. It's three billion video views a day. And so we want to be where people are at. iPhones, there's 100 million iPhones on them or iOS devices on the market. And so we were thinking, how do we get to those people? And the idea kind of sprung from two different things. The first one was, I don't know if you've ever seen Rejection Hotline, where you mm -hmm. give somebody that, you, like a girl can give a guy that she doesn't want to contact her a fake phone number and it sends him to the Rejection Hotline. So that went viral, not necessarily because people were passing it out to people they don't want to talk to, but because they were just calling it with their friends. And so, and so that, that was the first thought. And I wanted to do something like that where coworkers could um, kind of sabotage each other about their breath. Then the second thought was I was playing with the iFart app, which was like the top app ever. And I thought, well, maybe we could create a bad breath detector and so, but the, the problem was, is the iPhone doesn't really have any uh, parts that test breath. Doesn't have a breathalyzer on Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. But it does have a microphone. Right. And so we got it to where it detects noise. So there's a lot of ambient noise in here. But so if you push, if you push the top half of the button, it gives you a good result. And the bottom half, it gives you a bad result. And so to your friend, you go and you push the top half of yourself. Magically delicious. You know, and you get a good result, and then you push the bottom half. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little. And it so offends you. <laughs> so so it, it gives you a bad result and then also lets you record your own results on the app. And sorry, I, I need to show it to the camera here. Sure. Um so you can go in and you record your own results and or you can like pick the next result. Um, but every time you use it, well, I wish new car smell was that good. so you can push this video and you watch our original bad breath test video, which has 15 million views. So it's like, um, an, an experience for advertising and, and there's, there's different, um, different messaging that reinforces the fact that bad breath comes from a dirty tongue. Right constantly and then right on the app here at the bottom you can get your first aura brush free all right does that make sense yeah I, th I think it does so so let's talk about so how many so this has been viewed how many times right now off of your channel so we made a video for this and that video has been viewed like 1.7 million times 1.7 million just about the app so it went viral and that drove over 300,000 downloads to this application Wow. <laughs> so there's 300,000 iPhones in the world that have our Brad breath detector on them. So this is a bona fide success? <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's more than paid for itself. I mean, we spent, I think, less than $10,000 creating the app. And then we're, uh, you know, we're just, just off of iTunes sales, we've more than paid for it. So is this, is this part of a greater long-term strategy to tap into uh, apps, um, yeah. you know? One of the next things we're thinking about is getting into gaming. So we've got some ideas. We'll let you know, but okay. there, there's some fun stuff in the pipeline. Okay, so real quick, big news. You guys have just inked a deal with Walmart. We know that offline sales are still a chief component uh, for sales, period, not just online, but the offline sales drive sales. Tell us a little bit about that. 
So last year, even though we had sold like a million units online and we have just exploded and people, we've have got over 10,000 comments on YouTube asking and Facebook asking, when is this going to be in stores? We couldn't get Walmart, we couldn't get Walgreens, we couldn't get CVS to listen to us. But last year, um, a Walmart manager in Utah called us and said, I need your product in my store, come in on the local vendor program. So he set us up and we did extremely well. And then we took our YouTube characters and we made a customized video for the Walmart corporate buyer and we sent it to him. And then we also like made a, made a, we, we, well, the, there was a, the sales guys in the company were like, oh, we got to buy trade ads inside these magazines. So we were buying full page trade ads and we bought like $20,000 of these trade ads. And I was totally against it because I don't believe in print media very much or anything I can't track, I don't believe in. And, um, and they bought all these trade ads and they were, um, all we got was more calls from people who wanted to sell us more trade ads. We didn't get any contact with Walmart, any contact with Walgreens or CVS. So I took and I created a Facebook ad that um, targeted to Bentonville, to people who have college degrees, to people who work at Walmart, and it targeted like 1,100 people. And the Facebook ad said, Walmart employees have bad breath. <laughs> Come and then click here, you know, kind of right. thing. You need to carry Aura Brush. Right. And we put it up and $28 later, um, we, we were already in contact. We had sent the video, Walmart buyers. They were aware of it. They were aware yeah. of Aura Brush. So w w they were talking to us, but we wanted to keep um, them more aware of us, keep, a, keep, a, keep our Aura Brush in the back of their minds. So we created this Facebook ad and $28 later, we got an email from the buyer saying the vice president and she had seen it and she thought it was funny But she said you need to stop doing that because you don't want to tell two million Walmart employees that they have bad breath And we emailed back and we we're like well it only targeted Bentonville a very tight thing, but $20,000 no nothing no comment $28 on Facebook with very targeted advertising and we get an email um, But they already knew about us. They did they weren't right so if people think they're going to go and target Walmart and get them to call, a buyer to call yeah. them, that's yes. not going to happen. Yeah. But it, it was an inter it's a it's a interesting way to 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 take a swing at it. So Jeff, uh, we noticed on the Aura brush on the back of it, uh, uh, you're using YouTube as seen on YouTube. The the, the brand building, the connection to YouTube. Um, yeah. Th th this is uh, this is pretty big for you guys. Well, like 40 million people have seen us on YouTube, so we want to make sure when they show up, when the, all these go into all the Walmarts and CVS stores and Walgreens, that they recognize which product is the one that they saw on YouTube. So immediately they'll be able to say, oh, that's the one I saw, and grab it. So that's why, that's why we used it. And then there's a secondary motive, which is to get people to go on YouTube and look at our channel so that you're not just doing off to online but you're doing on to, uh, no, on to offline, but you're also getting off to online. You get what I'm saying? So you have a full right, loop. full loop. Yep. All right. Well, we look forward to hearing more uh, from you on uh, the future, uh, the relationship between YouTube and Aura Brush as it grows and develops. So thanks so much again for taking time out to chat with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. And there's more to come on the Search Engine Watch channel here at SES San Francisco 2011. I'm Byron Gordon. Stay tuned for more.